Tangitarangi Golf Club holds a special place in the New Zealand golfing landscape. It is the only course designed by Dr Alistair McKenzie, perhaps the greatest golf course architect of all time. McKenzie designed many masterpieces and in 1927, on his way to crafting Cypress Point, McKenzie left his mark on golf in this country, putting plans in place for Titarangi Golf Club. In the 1990s, the club set about restoring the Titarangi course to that which McKenzie had laid out in the 1920s. And now the remodelling of a final few holes is left in the hands of McKenzie enthusiast Clyde Johnson. McKenzie is arguably the greatest golf course architect of all time. Uh, he's famous for Augusta National, Royal Melbourne, Cypress Point in America, another great golf course. You know, he's still sort of revered by all the architects today. Everyone looks to him for inspiration. Perhaps his greatest achievement was his role in spreading golf and golf course architecture to areas like Australia and New Zealand. Over the next four years, Clyde and the Titarangi Golf Club will complete the restoration of the course, with the initial focus being the first hole. Mackenzie left the original routing plan. They've only got nine of his original green drawings. So the first green we don't have, so we're sort of interpreting from his routing plan, trying to recreate that. The work 10 years ago managed to attempt to do that for, for 16 of the holes, so the first and 17th were left over. Uh, that's where our main focus is to start with, so that should be pretty cool, you know, trying to interpret what Mackenzie would have wanted. Mackenzie was really, really clever with camber. So he originally had a bunker on the high right side, with the terrain floating left, taking you away, and the front left of the green being protected by the bunkers, so unless you hit a fade onto the high side of the fairway, you were blocked out by the bunkers. The original bunker was built at the start of the fairway, which is, it was only penal for the weaker players, so it was a natural ridge hill crest that we can tie that into. Uh, so it gives some relief to the weaker player who struggles to make the carry, while challenging you know, the medium to better player to hopefully carry that or hug it as close as they can to open up the, the angle to the green, but uh, it's not always going to be the best angle. You know, front right pin position, you want to steer away left, which will take a while for the members to learn, I think. It'll be pretty tricky because the flag will sit on the horizon and you'll see it right, you want to go straight for it. And the best drives for once is to the left, so it should keep things interesting. Course Superintendent Greg Swafford has also been returning the green complexes back in line with Mackenzie's original plans by bringing the bunkers and the greens closer together as well as restoring the runoffs around the green, a theme of Mackenzie's famous designs. It was a little bit like enhancing, you know, those uh, rolling undulations that we have off the greens, and, and we used to have quite a high cut uh, just off the collar. It was up quite high, the ball never really moved down, and you didn't really get that uh, runoff that you were supposed to. So the main positive as well is we, we gave the golfer some options there of, you know, they can either bump and run or flop shot or, or even putt if they want to. So. It's been pretty well accepted by the members and they're all pretty happy to see the low cut continuing uh, right through the season. So it's a matter of just restoring that back to the, the true Mackenzie. Yeah, it should be good. For a young golf course purist like Clyde, who lives in St Andrews, Scotland, the chance to touch up a Mackenzie masterpiece is an honour. It's really cool. We're just trying to preserve, touch up, you know, restore the best qualities of the golf course. You know, it's not changed too much over the years. He's the architect from the early days that I look up to. He was a great router of a golf course. He was really creative in, with his green complexes. His bunkering was art, and you know, he was really efficient with his use of the land. So pretty much everything that makes great golf course architecture and that we all aspire to. With the new remodeled first hole now open for play, focus will turn to the 17th hole, as well as changes to the third and 12th holes, which will be tweaked over the next few years. Once completed, Titarangi will fully resemble the classic golf course the great Dr Alistair McKenzie mapped out in the 1920s. Catch Holden Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.